Let's kick things off with the coronavirus pandemic. It has disrupted so many things over the past year and a half. The global economy, our love lives, Chick-fil-A's plans for a fried bat sandwich, and now it's even coming after our snacks. The Girl Scouts say 15 million boxes of unsold cookies are currently sitting on shelves. The organization is now encouraging people to buy boxes online before they expire. The Girl Scouts normally sell around 200 million boxes of cookies per year or around $800 million worth, but the pandemic kept them from going door to door to sell their cookies. No, guys, 50 million boxes of Girl Scout cookies are just sitting on the shelves? I mean, I was gonna start my post-pandemic diet this week, but the Girl Scouts need our help. I'm gonna do this for them. In fact, you know what? Forget buying them. They're just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull the world's tastiest Ocean's Eleven. Step one, just gotta find 10 friends. Yeah, I lost contact with a lot of people over the pandemic. Apparently being nude on FaceTime doesn't make you <laughs> endearing. But let's be honest though, people, the real reason Girl Scout cookies didn't sell this past year is not because Girl Scouts couldn't go door to door. It's because the parents of Girl Scouts weren't in their offices. And because they weren't in their office, they couldn't shame their coworkers into buying 200 boxes worth of Thin Mints. And I'm not hating on it, I'm just saying. Every box of Girl Scout cookies I've ever bought was sold to me by a bald man in his 50s. But you know, if you ask me, this actually gives America an opportunity to solve two problems at once. Yeah, think about it. Just offer free Girl Scout cookies to anyone getting the vaccine. America will be at 100% vaccination by the weekend, baby. I mean, except for the places that give away trefoils. I'd, I'd rather get COVID than eat them shits. Meanwhile, another thing thrown out of whack by the pandemic is the Tokyo Olympic Games. We've had to wait a whole extra year to wake up at 3 a.m. to watch strangers go swimming. But now the Olympics are finally here. Although, with some pretty big changes. We all know that COVID is forcing some big changes compared to a typical Olympics that includes in the Olympic Village. Olympic organizers typically give away tens of thousands of condoms during the games for all the athletes. But this year, there is still going to be a condom giveaway, but they are telling the athletes not to use them until they get home. COVID restrictions mean the athletes shouldn't be getting close enough to be um, active with one another. Olympic organizers say they are hoping the athletes take the condoms back to their home countries to raise awareness about HIV, AIDS, and other issues. Hold up, hold up. Japan is not going to let Olympic athletes have sex with each other? Well, then, I mean, what's the point of even going to the Olympics then? What, to bring glory to one's nation? Wrong! It's to smash! That's why the sprinters go so fast. They want that race to be over so they can get back to the main event. If you can't have sex at the Olympics, half of the sports wouldn't even have anybody in them. Nobody's gonna spend 20 years learning how to jump over a pole with another pole unless they know that at some point they're gonna get laid for it. And let's be real, they can tell athletes not to use the condoms until they get home, but all that's gonna mean is athletes are gonna be having sex without condoms, which maybe isn't the worst idea. It means in 18 years, we're gonna have the greatest Olympic games of all time.